I don't know if you know this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 167, and I am just getting back from a couple of days at the AAA conference. So the American Academy of Audiology up in Seattle, Washington. I actually had a uh, my anniversary trip with my wife, Ashley, this past year in the Seattle area. We went to Mount Rainier, we hiked, went to, uh, went to it this year at a little bit different time of year. It basically rained or was overcast the entire time. Uh, I was walking back from the conference on one of the days and to my hotel room, and I was just getting drenched on that trip. And it wasn't like it was a downpour, it was just like this steady like pelting of water from every direction, it seemed like. But it was still a good time at the conference. Of course, everything inside of the conference center was dry, which was greatly appreciated. I got to see a lot of colleagues and friends that I don't typically get to hang out with, which is why I like going to these conferences so much. Uh, there is an Odd Boss conference that I really enjoy going to. That's uh, run by my friend, Dr. Amit Gasalia. I did get to hang out with Dr. Amit Gasalia at AAA this year. I got to hang out with Dr. Scott Frink, who you've seen on the Dr. Cliff Show as well. Um, and then a variety of other audiologists, uh, Dr. Nicole Kingham, and you know, uh, uh, just a ton. Uh, hearing Up was, well represented at the conference. So if you don't know what Hearing Up is, that's my network of hearing care professionals that are committed to following best practices. I had to have run into probably two dozen um, Hearing Up members uh, at the conference, which was really cool. I got to hang out, you know, with, with other audiologists who are not a part of Hearing Up that I'm still, you know, really, you know, good close friends with, um, which is really exciting. So I really like going to those conferences because, yeah, I'm earning continuing education credits, I'm learning new things, but I just get to hang out with people. And because I'm usually stuck in this YouTube room, the only time I get socialization is when I treat patients inside the clinic and then when I go to conferences. So that was really cool. I did get to hang out with the hearingloss.com crew. So my partners at Audigy, I uh, got to hang out with them, uh, talk to different people about what hearingloss.com has got going on. If you haven't checked out hearingloss.com yet, please feel free to go over and check it out. They have a really cool guided hearing experience, which I believe is by far the best online hearing screener that exists inside of the world of the online hearing screeners. So make sure that you go check that out. All of my hearingup.com members are also listed on hearingloss.com, as well as all of the Audigy members that are on there too. We're working really hard to get uh, the Audigy members through this dual certification process uh, because they're essentially being certified that they're committed or committing, that they're following comprehensive best practices as well as a person-centered care, which is their patients for life model inside of Audigy. So I think that's gonna be really good for people with hearing loss. Again, hearingloss.com, hearing up and hearingup.com. Go check out those websites if you haven't had a chance to already. But yeah, you know, I'm kind of a big deal. I don't know if you've heard this yet. Um, but I went to one of the courses that, that, or one of the talks that was being given. One of the most popular talks at AAA is the Hearing Aids in Review talk. Now, I love going to this talk because I don't know if you know or remember who Dr. Gus Mueller is, but Gus Mueller is probably the reason why I'm even talking to you right now. Um, he is was a professor at Vanderbilt University. I went to University of Illinois, but I followed a lot of his, you know, um, his teachings over the course of the years, along with a variety of other um, professors from different universities. But the reason that Gus Mueller stuck out to me is that I went to a training with Gus Mueller that he was putting on when I was a student. I was a fourth year student doing my externship. And at the end of that training, I was the only student in that training where he was talking about best practices, realer measurement, test box measures, like you have to do all these things. If you don't, you're a bad person because you're taking advantage of your patients. And I'm like, holy cow, like I better pay attention to this guy. And so at the end of it, he actually gave me a signed copy. I probably have it in here somewhere. He gave me a signed copy of his probe microphone measurements book. So realer measurement. And he told me, Cliff, if you wanna be a really good audiologist, if you wanna be in the top 5% of audiologists out there, print off a set of best practice guidelines, follow them to a T, and you will be a really good audiologist. And I'm like, okay, I think that's what I'll do then. And so that's what I did when I started my clinic. I, I got the best practice guidelines from AAA, and I followed them. And that is what led to the development of the hearingup.com, or the Hearing Up Network, and it's really what kind of led to me wanting to have videos explaining the importance of best practice care. So 
Gus Mueller, let's get back to it. Gus Mueller, uh, Dr. Ryan McCreary, and Dr. Catherine Palmer, they, like, one of the most popular talks every year at AAA. I went to that, and guess what? They talked about me. Well, I don't want to say they talked to me, about me, but Gus Mueller brought up, <laughs> they've been doing this for 21 years, and he actually brought up a photo making, kind of poking fun at me or, you know, with me or whatever of back at the first episode of the inaugural season of the Dr. Cliff show. Uh, what year was that? Like 2002. I think I was in the Marine Corps. I was actually in the Marine Corps when they first started that, which is kind of funny. But I just thought that that was hilarious that he was kind of poking some fun there. But later on, he actually featured a couple of over-the-counter hearing aid reviews that I had done uh, with the measurement curves, talking about how being being able to hit your prescriptive targets is extremely important if you want to get benefit. And if you're under-programmed with hearing aids, whether it's prescription or OTC, people don't typically tend to migrate towards their NAL, NL2 prescription. And so it shows the real flaws with over-the-counter hearing aids and even prescription hearing aids that are not fit using best practices. So that was really cool that he was referencing some of the research that I did inside of my clinic. It made the talk really cool. So yeah, you know, kind of made a, a Gus Mueller presentation. No big deal, but yeah, kind of a big deal for me. So that's really cool. Um, Lanier. So I published a video about Lanier, the tinnitus treatment, the bimodal neuromodulation tinnitus treatment. If you have not seen that video, that one's blowing up. It's got like a couple hundred thousand views already and I just posted it not that long ago. So make sure that you check that out. I also got to see Dr. Angela Alexander. She came up to AAA in Seattle, Washington um, to talk about auditory processing disorder. And that session was packed as well. That was really, really cool. And I'm actually gonna see her because she practices in Australia. So as you know, like here in two days, I'm going to be flying out, or three days, I'm going to be flying out to uh, give the keynote talk and a couple of other sessions at the Australia Academy conference. And that will be really cool, but I'll be able to meet up with her out there as well. And that should be a really exciting trip. I'm going to be gone for like two and a half weeks doing that. Everything's going super smooth at the clinic. Super smooth, I don't know if that's the right term, but it's going relatively smooth at the clinic. Um, I wish that we had our office manager um, or someone who can help Ashley out with the administrative side of things. So we're gonna be a little bit of a skeleton crew for the next couple of weeks. So just beware of that if you are one of my patients at the clinic. So we'll try to get everything uh, done very, very well while I'm out of town. I have full faith in everybody who is back at the office. It's just, when you start looking at it, you know, the amount of man hours that we'll have to go in to make sure everything is smooth is a lot. And so we're gonna have to rely on the staff pretty heavily there. But um, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. I scored a bunch of continuing education credits at AAA. So I'll be able to keep my license here in the state of Arizona, which is beneficial to my patients, arguably beneficial to my patients. Um, so that's really cool. But I've got to get back to work now. I have to go finish my presentations because I'm a little bit of a procrastinator um, for these uh, conference talks that I usually give. But as always, guys, I will see you next week.